Hello everyone, welcome to virtual labs. Today we will discuss digital electronics lab designed by IIT Roorkee. So just click on digital electronics lab. In last tutorial, we have already discussed the implementation or the simulation of a decoder. So practical number eight. So in today's tutorial, we will discuss the simulation of two to four encoder so for theory just click on theory and the working or you can say the concept of encoder is just the reverse operation of decoder so in the case of decoder we are decoding some information so for that there are if there are two input lines so there will be four output lines means to the power n equal to m and in the case of encoder the condition is just reverse okay so if there are to the power n input lines so we will get m outputs so as you can see in this figure this is the logic diagram of encoder so for small uh, sorry for n inputs or you can say for if there are n outputs so the number of input lines are to the power n as in the case of decoder we have discussed two to four decoder so in the case of encoder we will discuss four to two encoder so for two output lines to the power n means four input lines so in the case of encoder encoder is basically a combination circuit okay so it is also a combination circuit and encoder is used to encode some information from higher number of bits to lower number of bits so in encoding we just convert or we just transform higher number of inputs to some small number of outputs and in case of decoder we will decode some less number of inputs to high number or large number of outputs okay so now with the help of truth table so this is the logic you can say block diagram of uh, a 4 to 2 encoder there are four inputs from d0 to d3 these are data inputs and two outputs q0 and q1 okay so for four inputs for four inputs, there are four values, means D0, D1, D2, and D3. So if D0 is high, means one. So if we are providing information at D0, it means at the output Q0, Q1 is or R00. Zero, zero. Okay, if D1 is high, if D1 is high, it means Q1 is 0 and Q0 is high. So for D1, if we are providing data information at D1 terminal, it means after encoding, it will be 1. Okay. If we are providing information at D2 terminal, it means after encoding, it will be 2. Okay. If there is no data as in this figure. So in this truth table, if all D0 to D3 bits are 0, it means at output it is unknown. Okay. So this is the truth table from D0 to D3. If D3 is high, it means at the encoder output, it should be 1, 1. Okay. So I think the concept of uh, the concept of encoder and decoder is now understandable for all of you just remember that there are no select line in the case of encoder and decoder and if you are decoding it means you are converting low number of bits of input to high number of outputs okay so now 
we will simulate this with the help of simulator so just click on simulation and then click on encoder okay so this is the circuit diagram of encoder and with the help of 7432 that is OR gate IC we will implement or we will understand the working of 422 encoder so on the left hand side there is a list of instructions this is the uh, the working of encoder is just reverse the working of decoder so here we have to apply our inputs at D0, D1, D2 and D3 one by one okay then at the output Q0 and Q1 will glow according to the input combinations the first task is to supply or to provide proper supply that is plus 5 volt to the IC then press any one of the switch okay so this is the most important thing that we have to provide information we are just providing the information so we can provide the information either at D0 at D1 or at D2 or at D3 so press any one of the switch for which you want to get your corresponding encoded output okay so this is the condition for on this one is the condition for off now check the corresponding output LED glows or not and then check the values of input and output in the table accordingly okay so let's start first of all apply the power supply now suppose I am interested in D1 so just click on D1 it means your D0, D2, D3 will be 0 D1 is high so D1 is high it means you will get 1 at the output so Q1, Q0 so Q0 is 1 and Q1 is 0 so it is basically 1 now if I am interested in D2 ok so D2 Q1 is 1 and Q0 is 0 so D2 is high D3, D1, D0 is 0 and the equivalent of this 1, 0 is 2 ok so for D3 it is 1, 1 ok so I hope it is sufficient to understand the working of and I must to say that it is very simple to understand with the help of this simulator that how our encoder is working ok so 4 inputs 2 outputs according to the combination input combinations your LED Q1 and Q0 will glow and just with the help of this truth table you can verify or you can understand the working of 422 encoder ok so we have covered the encoder and decoder practicals that is practical number 8 of digital electronics virtual lab so this is all for today's session thank you